Hi guys, um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is my channel, Katrina Creations. I am Katrina, welcome. And also, hello and um, thank you for coming back to my usual watchers and subscribers that I have out there. Um, I've decided that I am going to try and do a video um, well, I do one on Friday, as you all know, but I'm going to try and do one every Wednesday and I'm going to call it Whip Wednesdays. So it will just be like um, an update of what I'm doing through the week, the whip that I'm working on at that time. And um, just give you like a little quick update. So I don't know if it'd be as long as the other videos that I normally have on a Friday. So um, just play it by ear and see how it goes. Um, sorry for the this look here um i've just got out of the shower i've been doing bits all day today and i've not been feeling too well either so um i just managed to sort out everything i needed to get done and had my shower and i thought right now i've got five minutes because the kids are now having their showers i will get on and do some recording um yeah so i'm in my night clothes in my nighty ready for bed oh gosh right so if you watched my last video, you would have seen that I am currently working on um, the baby star cocoon. Um, I've started it with ooh, double knit yarn that you saw me buy. Well, you didn't see me buy, but you see me in the shop pick it up. Um, yeah. So I've done, this is it here. So I've done like one, the two leg bits, one of the arms, I've got the other arm to do. Um, this bit stays like this because this is where the hood goes and this is the other side. Um, I did stop doing this. Uh, when did I stop? What is today? Wednesday. Yeah, Whit Wednesday. Um, I did stop doing it. I'm sure it was Monday because... Uh, Cairo, stop biting. You're naughty. Because the person that's ordered it, it is for a baby that's already born. I'm sure the baby is about three months old. Um, so I didn't want to continue doing more of this and it be too small. Because the pattern that there is out there for this is for, I'm sure it's for an 18 inch doll. Let me double check. Recording on my phone today. The tablet's playing up, right? Let me just tell you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it's an 18 inch doll. Um, so yeah, this pattern, which, this is it here. Oh, you can't even see it because it's another screen, isn't it? No, you can't see it. Um, I found this, there's a video tutorial on YouTube this link is in the description box of that video tutorial. Um, I don't know um, whether it's the same person that has made this pattern that did the video, but they're not the same. Um, the hood and a few other bits are made differently. So um, it is a bit confusing because you, you watch the video and then you look at the pattern and it's completely different so um yeah i kind of stopped because i did message the lady that ordered and asked her if she could measure the baby for me from head to toe and from like wrist to wrist so that i've got some sort of measurement of how wide this needs to be and how long it needs to be um i messaged her uh sunday or monday she said she would do it i'm still waiting <laughs> she hasn't messaged me back but in the meantime i did um grab um, another ball of yarn, well, a few balls of yarn, and I went ahead and made a bigger one, which I'm not sure what I would size this as. So um, here is a baby star cocoon, kind of. Right, so it's sort of done. Um, I'm not really happy with it because the hood situation threw me off a bit so I just did like a little hood here but I'm not sure if it's going to fit so I am thinking to take this off and redo it or I'm not sure or maybe add a few rows going down um but I don't know what to do with that yet 
this is the open side so I need some buttons on here or is it here I need buttons on here and then that will go over and fasten so um, yeah this was all done in Karen, Sim Ugh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Karen Simply Soft paints I'm sure that I'm going to let me have a look because I've got all of me ball bands yeah Karen Simply Soft paints and this colour was called Baby Brights um, I'm not sure if that's the colour number but it's 21015 um, I have got the ball left so these are the instructions for it right there if you can see that um i did do a yarn haul not too long ago where i'd ordered a load of karen simply sock from the yarn inspirations or yarn inspirations website and i had to pay um x was import fees or something it worked out to end up ended up spending the same amount as what I would do if I bought it over here. But I had I ordered five balls of each colour. Lucky enough I did. Because this, believe it or not, has taken four whole skeins to do this. Four whole skeins. No wonder when Lucy did it, she rang out of yarn because I think she used Karen Simply Soft. I'm sure she used Karen Simply Soft. So that's Lucy from Lucy Coats if you haven't seen her you don't know who she is go and look her up um she did a video i'm sure it was last week and she did this same baby star cocoon in a yellow and i'm sure that was karen simply soft but don't quote me because my memory is not very good so um yeah it is done um once you get the hang of it it is pretty simple it is just about you're repeating the same thing over and over even with this piece here because you do a pentagon and once you've done the first five rows I think is the increase rows then after that it's just basically well you do increase on every row to get the bigger heck pentagon but it's not as much in the middle it's only at the you can see there's the increases here so it's two double crochet each side of that chain space gap and that is how you do the increases as it gets bigger um, one thing that was a pain in the bum is putting this together because you're putting it together and you're having to go through the sides of the stitches and the chain freeze that you've done on the edges um, which is a complete and utter pain in the bum and then I did it I put the whole thing together and I was like yay and then when I looked at it I'd realised I would did it the wrong way um, well, not the, the work itself is wrong side to wrong side, so you do see the right sides where they're supposed to be. But I single crocheted it together all the way around, but I went the wrong way. So the back of the single crochets was at the front of my work, and the front of the single crochets is at the back of my work. So um, instead of undoing it all, and taking it all out and starting all over again because it took me ages to get through all of those side stitches to try and get them evenly around the whole star. Um, I just basically, once I got to the end of the road, I slip stitched into the beginning stitch, chained one and went back on myself the right way round, if you get what I mean. So I basically went over the first lot of single crochet. So there's a single crochet row and then there's another single crochet row over the first single crochet row. And then after that, I just did um, one row of single crochet after. But um, it's kind of hard to explain. I don't know if you get what I mean. But I've done that one anyway. Now I'm just wondering, what size baby would this fit? If it would fit a baby? Well, it's not going to be a toddler because it's not long enough really, is it? So I'm thinking, what, about three to six months? I don't know and that's another thing as well is the pattern for this doesn't give you baby sizes it's just ba the basic pattern itself is for an 18 inch doll um, which would fit a small baby even this one I have made that bigger 
than what the pattern calls for because you're supposed to stop. I think I was supposed to stop around here and then do the rest. So if I would have stopped around there, that wouldn't have fitted anyone. So I don't know if right now whether I am going to be continuing with this because I haven't had the measurements yet or um, whether I am going to be frogging out the um, star bits here and going back to the pentagon and going round a few more times. So obviously this one's still there. I haven't added anything to this one. So this one can easily, I could easily just rejoin and um, go round a few more times. But this one, because I was actually sitting contemplating finishing it and selling it as maybe a small baby. But I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. So um, I have finished this. I've got to sew in my ends. I'm waiting for the buttons to come. So once the buttons do come and it's all finished and sewn together and blocked, washed and blocked and all of that, I will show it again. Um, I do know who I did want to give this to, but now looking at it and how big it is, I don't know whether I will or whether I'll make something else. But that's four more skeins of yarn I have used. So yeah. I don't know how much that weighs though, That's, it's quite heavy. But it's nice and thick because it's worsted weight yarn. It is the perfect yarn to do this in, so it's nice and thick. So if you was using it for a baby in the winter, it will keep your baby warm. So um, yeah, I've done one. I haven't done the one that I'm supposed to be doing, but I am waiting for um, the lady to measure me back. Measure me back? Message me back with the measurements. Sorry, not with it today. I've not been feeling too good. So, just been in my own little bubble. Um, also, I did say last time when I did a video, I showed you that I got these lovely little needles so that I could make some socks. Um, I have, which ones was it? Right, I did open, I opened these ones and I cast it on and I tried to rip and guess what? My hands are way too big for these circular needles. So, I can't use these. I literally can't, I just, it's so hard to try and knit. They are tiny, I don't, I don't know why I got them one so small, but I did, because um, I'm silly. So um, I bought, I didn't, they weren't expensive. I think it was like five pounds. You haven't even opened it yet. Um, this came this morning. Where are the scissors? Oh no, it's opening, it's opening. So I ordered these. This is the first time I've actually opened them and looked at them. Um, just some cheap circular needles. These ones are supposed to be, hold on. Were they supposed to be 40 centimetres? That don't look like they'd be 40 centimetres. But anyway, these were 25. That don't even look like it'd be 25 centimetres. But um, yeah, I ordered these. I think you get... I can't remember how many different pairs there was in there now, but it was something like a fiver for all of them. So I thought, I don't want to go and spend more money on these sort of circular needles if... I'm not going to be able to use them because now I'm wondering with these being so small what am I going to do with them because I literally they're too small for my hands I can't I can't use them I've got really big hands so I, I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet so I have got these ones so I can start doing some socks but I was just concentrating on getting the star cocoon finished but well, one of them finished anyway um so that I could move on to the next thing so I am actually gonna go through these one thing I've just realized oh they have I was gonna say they've got the sizes on them they have I think well, that one has I don't want oh yeah they have I can see them very very faint yeah that's a 3.75 yeah so um i think i might cast on a pair of socks tonight and sit and do that if i can work with these so we will see how that goes um i'm trying to think what else 
Um, I did have been naughty because I, I used four skeins of yarn and I've replaced it with five. I have bought more yarn and this hasn't been opened yet either. This came today, but I knew what it was. It's just even my kids now. It's like, Mum, you got parcels. I don't even get excited now because I get so much. I should really. But I got some more of that Love Knitting Aran yarn. Two hundred. There's five balls or five skeins, and they're two hundred grams, three hundred and thirty meters per skein, hundred percent acrylic. So lovely. Um, I do want to do some bits. I bought some Aran the other day from Aldi. I did say that the red ball that I had there is for my niece. Um, I've got another two balls, what was it, of the blue. There was a dark and sort of blue, and now I've got this one. So I'm thinking I could make my nephew a nice Aaron cardigan or something. I'm not sure yet, but um, I do like this yarn. It is nice to work with, Not no problems with splitting or anything like that. So... And you don't really see it very often. So if I do see it, I do go on a little bidding war and try and win. I think this cost me, what did I win it at? £9. So I paid £9 for all of these. Well, no, I didn't because I paid £2. Is it £2.90 for delivery? I had to pay for postage. But the yarn itself was, for the whole lot of this, it was £9. That's what I won it at. So it was... 11.90 basically 12 pound which is still good it's still good so um yeah um also i did say to you the other day that my um son nicked a packet of that yarn that i bought from aldi's um he also i don't know where he found it because i didn't know, even know where it was he managed to um nick one of my knit pro crochet hooks and he's been crocheting I don't actually know what he's crocheting, but that looks quite tidy. He's doing well. So I don't know what he's actually crocheting. This is my younger son, he's 13. So he does every now and every night. He's up in the bath at the moment, but when he gets out of the bath, he'll come down and he'll have a cup of tea with me because I'm always drinking tea and we sit together and I'll be crocheting what I'm crocheting and he'll be doing a few bits on this until he gets bored then he puts it down again. So um, yeah, I don't know whether he's trying to make a cover for his bed because it's quite, it goes longer than that. I, I'm just, oh, hold on. So, ooh. right, it's longer than my, width, my arm span. It's still going, so he's done quite a lot there. So I know, I'm not quite sure what he's doing with that yet, but he's doing something. He did say he was going to try and make a scarf. So that is, yeah, it'd be long enough for a scarf, wouldn't it? So we'll see if he finishes it, because he never finishes anything. Never, never. Oh, my older son cleaned his room, but I might take a picture of it. He cleaned his room. I'm gonna have to whisper because it's upstairs. He cleaned his room and he filled up two black bags full of rubbish and he's got a whole massive pile of dirty washing. He cleaned his room up, put it outside the bedroom door like it's my responsibility to pick up the black bags and the dirty washing. I've just left it there. Not today, not today. I'm not doing it, I do enough. He needs to bring that down. Anyway. Enough with mummy moaning. So, what's everyone doing? Um, I just, um, yeah, well I've just done that. So I'm a bit lost. I don't know whether I should do some more Bob Marley or whether I should cast all socks, but I've been wanting to cast all these socks for a while, so I might just sit and slowly do that. Bob Marley I really need to do in a day, because um, it's quite, because it's black. It's black yarn, and it does smear in, because my eyes, 
I might leave that till the daytime because it's quiet. Like it's bright in here at the moment, but I've literally got two lights on. I've got the main light on there and then I've got this lamp here on because otherwise it's dark. If I turn that off or turn that off, you probably wouldn't be able to see me. It's really bad. Um, so, um, yeah. Life update. No, I don't really have a life. <laughs> I'm joking. No, there isn't anything going on. Um, just been feeling a bit rubbish the last few days i don't know why i just have so i haven't been anywhere or anything i've just been at home literally netflixing and crocheting that's all i've been doing really um i would suggest that if you are in any sort of um foul mood or you're upset or feeling a bit down and you need a bit of a giggle um Kim from Blue Cherub 82 put a video on, she's been doing, is it Leptember? Leptember, something like that. So she's had a video every single day and I've watched every single day. I've watched every one of her videos. Some days I've had a couple days where I haven't watched any and I'll catch up. But there was a video she had on there, I don't know if it was at the weekend, beginning of the week or last week, but it's been within the last week I'd say that she put up and she had me in hysterics she was talking about, um, was it her mother-in-law and falling over and how clumsy some people are, but the way that she was talking about it, um, the way that it came across and how she was uncontrollably laughing trying to tell the story, it was so funny. So if some things like that make you laugh, go and have a listen to Kim because that did have me in stitches for a while. Um, that was probably the funniest I did even comment and say that is the funniest video I've seen because it was the funniest I was cracking up my kids are looking at me like mum I had my headphones in and I'm watching on the tablet and the kids are like mum what are you laughing at oh don't worry you won't get it but it just reminded me of some of the things my mum's done because my mum's a bit clumsy like that so um but yeah that's about it for um I think that is about it um yeah. Ow! Why'd you always bite? That's naughty. It's naughty. Yes. Cairo. This is the little monster. He's not so ugh, little anymore. Look at him. He's got well fat. And yeah. Yeah, fat boy. Where are you going? No, 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 no. Not today. You've done enough chewing today, thank you couple of uh how long ago about three four months ago um my brother and my dad because i'm not long moved in this house i've been here less than a year but my brother and my dad um and my sister as well helped and they dug my garden over and i turfed the lot of my garden um my two my two girls the two older girls they were absolutely fine out in the garden no problems this one, every time he goes out there, he comes back with lumps of the turf that he's ripped out. Um, I'm just like, oh, by the time next summer comes, I'm going to have to probably re the whole garden. No, you're not going up there because you're going to chew the yarn, aren't you? So, um, yeah, he's had me chasing him a few times. I was sitting on the sofa last night and I had my ball of yarn between like the arm of the chair and my leg. I didn't even see him, he came out of nowhere, popped his head up, grabbed it and ran off and it, I, it was connected to what I was working on, ah, chasing him around the house, trying to get the yarn back off him and then as I've sat down here and I was sorting out the camera, I had my glasses on, it was glaring again as you can see, if I put them on sometimes they glare, that's not too bad but it did look like it was glaring so I took them off and I put them here on the sofa. This one runs off with him. And his mum, when she was a puppy, actually chewed my glasses and broke the lens. So I was like, no, I can't drive without them. I can't see without them, so I need my glasses. And he's going to sleep now. So, um, yeah, um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I need to mention? Right now, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I am, I will be doing my usual video on Friday. 
so anything else extra that I do between it, well, today, well not even today because it's five to nine so the day is basically over, um, but any progress that I make over tomorrow, I will show you on Friday. Um, let me see if I can reach this. So, yeah, before I go, I'll just show you. This was the yarn I used to make that star cocoon. So if you can see, it's got loads of little colours in there. It is very girly, girly though. You couldn't really use this for a boy, I don't think. It's got a bit of blue, but it's got, it's like a lilac-y blue, um, white, yellow, pink, orange. So, yeah. And this is it. Karen Simply Soft Paints. And I did have five skeins. And this is the last skein. I'm trying to see if you can see that. It's not calling me in. So yeah, this is my last one. So I don't know what I'll make with that. Did I have any left over? I think like I had maybe a ball about that big of leftover yarn from the last skein. I can't see where I put it though. Yarn everywhere. So um, yeah, that's basically it. Really, basically it. Um, I just don't know what to do with myself right now. I need to go and take some tablets, um, make a cup of tea, and then go from there. So um, yeah, um, hopefully this will be a regular thing every Wednesday. Um, my sister also said that she wants to start joining me on um, the Wednesday vlogs as well, as she wants to start getting back into crochet, her crocheting. Um, but she's doing the, um, what's the word? Her, my niece has started reception. Um, I don't know how it works across the pond in the States, but over here when you've got a child and you start reception, I think Sean from Sean's Crafty Corner is going through the same thing. Um, you have a few days or a week where they go in in the morning, then you have another few days where they go in in the afternoon, and then, you, and then they try and do it so that they're there for three quarters of the day, and then after a little while they're in for the full day. So it's just like a transition period that she's going through at the moment, so she doesn't actually start going for the full days I think until next week so when my sister said when she's in full time she'll come and she'll do Wednesdays with me so that she can then show what she's doing also so um that is about it for today I don't think I need to tell you I know as soon as I stop recording I'm going to remember I'm like, oh, I didn't tell him about that because it always happens to me but um yeah, that is about it. But I've, had, I've had quite a few um, new friends adding me on Facebook. If you're adding me from watching the videos, hi. I know I, I've accepted, but I haven't really spoke to many of you yet. I haven't really been posting anything that much this week because I have not really been feeling too great. Um, <clears throat> so, but yeah, you will all get to speak to me soon. Um, I am thinking as well to carry on the whole recording when I'm yarn shopping situation that there is a yarn, I don't know if it's a factory or warehouse that sells yarn not too far, I think it's up in them, somewhere like that, it's about half an hour away from where I am and I'm thinking one day to go and take a drive and go and have a look around there, it's supposed to be really good in there and I haven't been, um, I should have gone because uh, I was going to um, a crochet group in Peterborough that's not far from where I live and they was organising it then but then some holidays came and then I was going on holiday and by the time I was I didn't end up going the whole of the summer holidays and I haven't actually been back because I forget about it like it's, it would have been today completely forget about it and because my sleep, sleep pattern's out of whack by the time I wake up it's nearly finished anyway so um yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I do want to go back though. There's a lovely bunch of ladies that was in that group crocheting. So, um, 
yeah, I do want to go and take a look at this place that sells yarn because apparently they sell it on cones and they sell balls and they've got loads of bits in there. So um, I do want to go and take a look up there. And once I do go, I will record if they allow me to and post it on my YouTube channel. So um, yeah, nothing else to really talk about. No. So I'm going to go, I'm going to upload this video because it's now after nine and sit and wait for this to upload for the next, I don't know how long it's going to take to upload and make a cup of tea and then sit and decide what I'm doing with my life today. <laughs> so um, I hope everyone is doing well um, and you are all crafting. I don't even it's raining the dogs are in my room and I don't know how they got in there because I closed my door my kids try to tell me that the dogs can open the doors the dogs can't open the doors because if the back door closes when they're outside they can't open it so I don't know how they open my bedroom door but my kids always tell me that they do it but they know they don't um, so yeah, my hair back to the normal afro puff all over the place. Um, yeah, I've got to do something with this. Let's do me head and feel like shaving it all off, but I'm not going to do that because I would look totally weird. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So I'm just sitting here waffling, and yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna upload this and i will see you all on friday if anyone has any questions that they want to ask what they want to know feel free to ask me and if you want to um add me as a friend on facebook just search me it's katrina's creations on facebook um on instagram it's cat cat underscore 82 um i'm also on ravelry katrina's creations i haven't i only really go on there to look patterns i know people have groups on there but i haven't actually looked into that yet so um yeah if you want to find me you'll find me in those places and to everyone that has found me hi. so um yeah that's it until friday take care everyone happy crafting and i will see you soon bye